You're listening to America's Voice Now. My name is Michael Evans. I'm your host for this hour. Thank you for taking the time out of your morning to join with us. I appreciate it, and I appreciate you. Um, I'd like to uh, open this morning with our bullet points in reference to um, the issue of where we are uh, headed for our economic scenario. Uh, Recently, nations around the globe have been buying gold at an extraordinary and amazingly frightening rate. China, Russia, and many other nations, including ultra-wealthy individuals, have been purchasing gold in the billions of dollars. Now, Russia's Putin has been purchasing gold at an astounding rate. In just the last few years, the central bank in Russia has purchased 570 metric Tons of gold. Metric tons. The runner-up to that would be China. The, The issue here, I mean, just to put this into perspective, the added weight of this gold is triple the weight of the Statue of Liberty. Putin's statement or, or I should say his uh, representative statement, is the more gold a country has, the more sovereignty it will have if there is a cataclysm with the dollar, the euro, the pound, or any other reserve currency. Ladies and gentlemen, we have not been buying gold. We are spending money at an extraordinary and cataclysmic rate. Our so-called alleged leaders in Washington consistently state that we don't have a spending problem, we have a taxation problem. And I submit that, in fact, what we have is a global alliance problem. What we have is a government which is more interested in putting out money to buy votes and is wasting our revenue and our future in an effort to drive the United States into into a steep decline from an economic perspective as well as the lifestyle of the average American. Paul Wolfson Wolfson, who is the uh, head of the IMF, has made statement after statement after statement that the middle class in China alone will reach one billion people by 2050. Ladies and gentlemen, there are not one billion people in the middle class globally today. What that should be telling us is that we currently owe $1.2 trillion to a communist nation who is, for all intents and purposes, our sworn enemy. And our government, our national government, is directly responsible for printing trillions of dollars of money, lowering the value of the existing currency in place, and placing us in a position of exigent national threat. Our government has become a clear and present danger to the survival and the existence, the very existence of the United States of America. We are at a point where we can no longer sustain this incredible, unregulated, and unrepentant spending. And our nation is at a crossroads. We must either gain control or we will lose everything. 
we must take the individuals who are currently our alleged leaders in Washington, and we must cease their activity and their spending. I'm calling upon the House of Representatives to put in place an absolute freeze on all spending of any kind. No new spending, no new increase in the debt limit. The hell with your fiscal cliff concerns, no new spending. No compromise, House members, no new spending. No compromise, no new spending. No compromise. Just say no to spending. The amount of fraud, waste, abuse in our, in our national budget is so outrageous that our, our government will not even produce a budget lest we find out exactly how dangerous this is. For the past four years, this administration has not produced a budget. That is unconstitutional. It is grounds for an impeachment of this president and an impeachment of the entire House and Senate. And ladies and gentlemen, I strongly suggest that it is time that a grassroots effort began in the United States of America to simply recall the entire national government. All members, both houses, the entire administration. We are out of time. We are out of time. And that's my bullet point. If you would like to call and speak with us, you can contact us on the Wits End Classic Barbershop Hair Hotline. You can do so by calling us at 257-1111 and 866-554-6636. Again, that's 257-1111, 866-554-6636. Our phone lines are sponsored by uh, Wits End Classic Barbershop, located on the square in West Plains. Uh, best $10 haircut you're going to be able to find anywhere. And in addition to that, they do a hot lather, straight razor shave, just like from the old days, and it will be an absolute treat for the man in your life or your significant other. And I strongly encourage you to get over there and have that done. It's uh, kind of a treat. Inexpensive treat, not to mention. Also, I'd like to thank our new sponsors, West Plains Pawn and Gun, or West Plains Pawn and Jewelry and Gun. Uh, they are a uh, great firearms, loca uh, firearms facility located uh, on 160 in West Plains, about a mile or a mile and a half past Walmart, on the right. And they have uh, 450, almost 500 guns uh, in place, in stock, and available for you. New items arriving every single day. Ammunition, accessories, holsters, uh, optics, magazines, pretty much whatever you need, they've got it. If you're interested in firearms... Make sure that you see our, our friends over at West Plains Pawn and Gun, and they can be found on the web at West Plains Pawn. Now, you can also contact them via uh, telephone at 417-256-3000. That's 417-256-3000. They are um, master dealers for, among others, Kimber and uh, a host of other uh, great firearms manufacturers. I strongly encourage you to participate and visit them. Don't forget to subscribe to support your sponsors because they are the folks who are supporting you uh, by virtue of this show. Also, over at Pizza Hut, uh, they have a great lunch uh, special that they do over there. It's a it's an open buffet. They've got a, a great salad bar, and I, I go over there frequently and enjoy that uh, anytime from about 11 to 2. And um, on Tuesday nights, kids under 12 eat free. It's family night. And so uh, take the family down there to uh, uh, the... Pizza Hut in West Plains on Porter Wagoner Boulevard and um, treat everybody in the house to an inexpensive but good quality and uh, tasty dinner. Okay, if you'd like to give us a shout, you can call us on the Wits End Classic Barbershop Hotline, 417-257-1111-866-554-6636. When we return from this break, I want to talk about a couple of issues that are currently out there in the news 
uh, there are a number of issues that we need to address, including uh, what occurred over the weekend in Van Buren with the replacement for Joanne Emerson. If you're not aware now and you haven't heard, Jason Smith was the chosen representative from the uh, the uh, nominees. And uh, I have some opinions and thoughts and comments on that. I'd like to hear yours. We'll be back in just a moment. The, uh, the issue of Mr. Smith's uh, nomination is... Um, not surprising, but it is cause for concern. And so I would like to address that when we return. Please feel free to visit us on the web. You can find us at www.americasvoicenow.org. You can also contact or find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash America's Voice Now. Also, we post every show that we do up on YouTube every day uh, for dissemination to the public. You can find that at Facebook, I'm sorry, at youtube.com forward slash America's Voice Now. Please make sure that you go over there and when you see a video there that we do, like it, uh, hit the thumbs up button, post a comment. That kind of thing helps it to go viral. And the more people that are listening, the more people we are awakening. Remember, our job is to educate, inform, motivate, and activate. We'll be right back. Having difficulty with your computer? Do you think it has a mind of its own? Well, don't be alarmed. This happens to everyone at some point in time. Worry no more. No more. Computer Dave and Kyle can help you out with PC Geeks, a weekly show right here on 107.1 The Point. Tune in Thursdays at 1 o'clock to ask computer-related questions and listen to the web topic of the week. That's PC Geeks here on 107.1 The Point. Everybody knows Crossroads Convenience has the coldest beer in town, but did you also know they have U-Haul rentals available seven days a week? The best hot beverage selection of coffee and cappuccinos to help keep your body warm during these colder Ozark days and nights. That's Crossroads Convenience in West Plains. If you missed America's Voice Now at 8 a.m. this morning, catch a repeat of America's Voice Now with your host, Michael Evans, at 8 p.m. every night, Monday through Friday, right here on 107.1, the Ozark's best news talk radio network. All right, we are back. Thanks for sticking with us through the break. Um, federal government has a uh, group who is a, a union that represents federal employees. It's called the American Federation of Government Employees, and they say a 1% increase is absolutely unconscionable. Their quote, not mine. I know I like that word unconscionable. It appears that they've stolen it from me. The head of the largest federal employee union for the federal government says that President Obama's proposal to increase pay for federal employees by 1% is absolutely unconscionable and simply not enough. Well, Mr. Union President, let me inform you that our nation is in a financial crisis, that most Americans are out of work period, that there is absolutely, it's inexcusable and unconscionable that there should be a union of federal employees in the first place. And I'm going to explain to you why. The purpose and the premise of a union is to protect workers. And yet what you're stating by your simple existence is that state and federal and or federal employees need protection from the self-same government that writes laws to protect everyone else. I find that unconscionable. I find your existence unconscionable. I find it offensive that individuals in the federal government make anywhere from 20 to 100% more than their civilian counterparts. I find it unconscionable that you and your ilk demand benefits that far exceed the average income for most of other Americans. I don't know who the hell you think you are, and I don't know why you think federal employees are some level of elite class that are better and should be better compensated 
than the average American. Where do you get off? I don't believe federal unions should exist. I don't believe state unions should exist. I don't think a union should exist for the, for the purpose of defending workers against a government which writes laws. It's an oxymoron. With emphasis on the word moron. I'm offended. I'm offended because most American workers can't even find a job. And you're demanding additional money for people that are already making almost double what everyone else in the nation makes. Washington and the counties surrounding Washington are the wealthiest counties in the nation. And they're made that way by taxpayer money, which is being wasted and abused and fraudulently mismanaged. It's malfeasance, sir. And the fact that there's a union out there demanding even more malfeasance is unconscionable. His statement, we will work with our friends in Congress who truly value the federal workforce. I find that unconscionable. I find it unconscionable that you are using taxpayer money to lobby Congress for better benefits for people who are already making far in excess of their civilian counterparts. I call on a ban, an outright ban, of any and all lobbying activity by any state, federal, city, or other lobbying organization that uses and is funded by taxpayer money. Frankly, I'm sick of it, and I'm sick of you. And America is tired of it. We are tired of paying taxpayer money into lobbying efforts to improve the lot of federal, state, and local agencies that beat us up, abuse us of our rights, and frankly just beat the snot out of us on a day-in and day-out basis. And we're paying taxpayer money for you to lobby Congress for even more power so that you can continue the, the abuse. Where do you get off, people? Where do you get off? How dare you demand more? Our nation is at a crossroads. We are on the verge and edge of collapse. My talking points this morning in reference to the, the, the purchase of gold ought to be telling everyone something. When the, when the, the ultra-rich are buying gold in staggering and, and mind-numbing numbing numbers, they know something we don't know. Actually, they know something we all know, we just don't have any and the wherewithal to do anything about it. And the DHS is arming itself to the teeth with taxpayer money to keep us in control when it happens. America, are you awake? Are you aware? Are you be being prepared? Are you preparing yourself and your family for the coming cataclysm? I'm asking you straight out. What are you doing right now to protect your family? Well, you can start by going down to our two friends, the Ozark Mountain Self-Reliance Group and the Battery Station. Ozark Mountain Self-Reliance has self-reliant and survival products and camping gear and all the things that we are going to need when we are forced to survive in a nation upside down. Everything that we know, everything that you've become accustomed to, everything our forefathers and our fathers and our great-grandfathers all the way back down the line, everything that they've known is about to go up in smoke. Directly because of the malfeasance of these people. 
who say that they haven't even finished the job. Well, go down to see the folks at Ozark Mountain Self-Reliance. Get on their website at Ozark MTN Self-Reliance. Call Brian at 870-492-4030 and ask him flat out his opinion. Or better yet, ask him what he's got that would help you to protect your family. They're a half mile east of Walmart on Route 62, number 3225, Route 62, in Mountain Home. You can find them on the web at Ozark MTN Self-Reliance. You can also find the battery station at 303 Washington Avenue off the square in West Plains. You can find them on the web at batterystation.com. You can call them at 417-257-7799. And you can ask them the same question. 417-257-7799. I guarantee you, you'll get the answer that you need. West Plains Pawn and Gun. Call them at 417-256-3000 and ask Kenny over there, what's coming? You're going to be surprised at the answer you get. And then ask him what he's got to help you defend your family against it. He's got about 500 of them in the store. Go down and pick one out. Go ahead, caller. Welcome to the show. Good morning, Mike. This is Mike in Oregon County. Hey, Mike. How are you? I'm great. Actually, my wife and I had a wonderful weekend in uh, Springfield at the Missouri Organic Association Conference. Uh Aha. We were surrounded by hundreds of like-minded people trying to raise their their, uh, produce naturally. Mm Mm-hmm. And uh, it was a fantastic experience. Tonight, and I'm hoping you'll be there to join us, we do have a common sense property rights group meeting at the Spring Dipper in Mammoth Springs. Yes. And some of the things we'll talk about tonight will be of interest to your listeners. The Firearms Freedom Rally that will be in Springfield on March 5th, we'll be giving out information on that. We'll also be working on a plan of action to assist Morningland Dairy because the fight is not over. Encouraging people to contact legislators. We'll be giving out email addresses and phone numbers. Great. Seeing what we can do there. And we have a special guest tonight, the Sheriff of Oregon County. Oh, good. George Underwood has signed on to the letter several other sheriffs in the state of Missouri have presented to President Obama. Yes. And, uh, you know, I really want to give congratulations to Sheriff Underwood here and to Kevin Jotts, who was a Republican opponent of his in the election. Mm -hmm. The two have talked about this issue. They both agree 100% on it. And Kevin invited Sheriff Underwood to come tonight. Outstanding. And he's agreed to answer questions and speak to everybody and keep them posted. Well, you know, what we need in this in this country are sheriffs who are going to stand up. And um, we, because I'm telling you right now, I don't care whether they believe it or not, they need to be prepared in the event. I mean, l- l- let's use the analogy. You buy automobile insurance, not because you're planning to have an accident, but because in the unlikely event that one occurs, you need to know that you're covered for both your medical bills and and damages that can occur, right? And we've got the same scenario here. We've got a government that is on a crash course. And if we're not buying our insurance right now with sheriffs who are willing to stand up and say, even if I'm not a believer, it's my obligation to be prepared for that eventuality, then we've got a problem. Exactly. So, um, yeah, I I will be down at the meeting tonight, Mike. And, uh, folks, if you'd like to, Mike, uh, it's at the Spring Dipper in Thayer. That's uh, Mammoth, Mammoth Spring. I'm sorry, in Mammoth Spring. You go past Thayer and, and uh, you go past Mammoth Spring, the, the spring itself, and you go up the road about a mile and a half, and it's on the left. It's called the Spring Dipper, and it's uh, kind of like an ice cream parlor with a, a diner, if you will, in there. And really, uh, really wonderful food at the diner. And very good food pleasing. there. Yep, yep. So make sure that you get down there, folks, especially if you're in the Oregon County area and you would like to be a member of the Property Rights uh, Coalition down there. That's what this meeting is about. Uh, we're going to take a break. When we come back, I want to talk about this issue with uh, Bob Parker. Sanchi and Grasso. 
Pope Benedict stepping down at the end of this month. The decision to resign, the first by a pope in almost 600 years, took all by surprise. But papal spokesman Federico Lombardi said it had evolved over the past few months and was not due to illness. The 85-year-old pope said he felt too fatigued to continue as a leader of the world's billion-plus Catholics and is leaving for the good of the church. Fox News Radio's Courtney Walsh in Rome Timothy Cardinal Dolan of New York says he's stunned, but respects the Pope's admission that he just doesn't have the strength for the job anymore. I've just always admired him as a scholar, as a priest, as a holy man. And now my admiration for him is even higher because of his humility. Pope Benedict's unexpected resignation sets the stage for a conclave to elect a new Pope before the end of March. This is a Fox News Alert. The winter storm season is here. When we have another ice storm, are you ready? What will you do for heat, food, or water if the power goes out for an extended period? Ozark Mountain Self-Reliance can help you get ready. We have storage food, water purifiers, alternative cooking sets, and a whole lot more. Come see us at 3225 Highway 62 East, Suite Number 3, just a half mile past Walmart in Mountain Home. Or call us at 492-4030. That's Ozark Mountain Self-Reliance. I know what you're thinking, Bunk. You're thinking, did he fire six shots or only five? Dirty Harry gets all his ammo from the battery station. John Rambo, you guessed it. He gets his ammo from the battery station, too. So if you need ammo, go to the place where the guys who know about ammunition go, the battery station. They have one of the largest supplies of ammunition in the area. So make sure you're stocked up and don't get low on shells. Go to the battery station at 303 Washington Avenue in West Plains. Family Fun and Fitness, LLC, presents rape and assault prevention classes at Country Covered in Licking, Missouri. Men, women, boys, and girls, if you want to know how to stack the deck in your favor in a situation where violence is the only answer, this class is for you. Rape and assault prevention class. Classes are held Monday evenings at 5.30 beginning February 11th and run through March 18th. Class size is limited, so call today, 417-260-1006, or register at Country Cupboard, 217 North Highway 63 in Licking. Weather is a service of News Talk 1071 The Point. Contact Josh or Cody at 255-2548 for more information on making weather sponsorships part of your marketing plans. From the Point Weather Center for this morning, look for sunny skies and a high of 50 this afternoon. When a wind chills as low as freezing early. Overnight, it'll be clear, although 28. Tuesday looks increasingly cloudy with a high of 45. There's a chance of rain and snow Wednesday with a high of 48. I'm Rod Tanner, and for more information, visit 1071thepoint.com. Recognize that God is calling you back to your station right now. And it is going to take great courage to be able to stand the storm that is coming. But God's not neutral on this stuff. He's not. He's just asking you to get behind him. He'll take care of all the hard stuff. Get behind him. This is the Glenn Beck Program. Weekdays from 2 to 5, it's Glenn Beck on the Ozarks Best News Talk 1071. All right, so uh, just a reminder again that the uh, uh, Ozark Property Rights Coalition will be meeting down there at the Spring Dipper in Mammoth Springs this evening at 6 o'clock at Spring Dipper. It's a kind of a diner uh, ice cream shop. And uh, the folks down there, they'll be talking tonight about right to work, uh, which is legislation which is currently pending, and we're going to talk about that in a moment. There are three bills out there that we need to drive some activity on. And... Um, uh, also, the Fulton County Patriots will be there, and uh, George Underwood, sheriff for Oregon County, will be there as well. So uh, make sure that you're there. Tomorrow, uh, we're going to have uh, Catherine Albrecht on with us. Uh, Catherine Albrecht is the uh, number one uh, leading authority on um, the the uh, chips, the, the bio chips and, and these uh, RFID chips that are out there. In fact, she wrote a book uh, that was a New York Times bestseller called Spy Chips. And um, if you're not familiar with Catherine Albrecht and who and what she does, you definitely want to make sure that you're here tomorrow to join with us. She's going to be joining us live uh, on a phone call, of course. And uh, she has a website that you should get to. It's called solari.com. That's S O L. A R I 
Solari, like solar with an I at the end, dot com. Make sure that you get over to her website and see what she has to say. Good morning, caller. Yeah, I was just wondering, what is the meaning for the property rights at Mammoth Springs at the w- Dipper? Uh, yes, it's at the Spring Dipper in Mammoth Springs at 6 o'clock tonight. Yep. 6 o'clock. Yes. And, okay. yeah, you should attend that. If you live in Oregon County or, or, you know, east of Oregon and you'd like to be involved, there is a group. There's another property rights group, and these are different chapters. So there's one that's in Mountain View, which is kind of like the Howell County group, and then there's one in Arkansas, um, and that's the Fulton County Patriots group. And they're going oh, okay. to be they're gonna be there tonight at the uh, Mammoth Springs uh, location to talk about what they're doing down in, in Arkansas. So if you're in Arkansas, so that's where I'm at. I'm in I'm in Fulton County. Oh, okay. Well, you definitely need to show up tonight then, because okay. your your group is going to be there. So you'll get a chance to meet with your people, your local folk, and you'll have an opportunity to meet with them and then find out where they're holding their local meetings as well. So make sure that you're there. This okay, is at the. Thank you. You're welcome. This is at Spring. Appreciate it. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you. This is at the Spring Dipper in Mammoth, folks. And um, uh, if you need more information, you can call 417-264-2435. That's 417-264-2435. We're also going to be discussing right to work down there and the legislative initiative on that. And um, if you have any interest whatsoever in uh, helping to restore our, our republic, you need to be there tonight. Uh, by the way, you don't have to live in Oregon County to attend. If you are interested in the idea of property rights, uh, which are you know basically foundational to our freedoms, then you need to be involved in w- with one of these groups. And I don't care whether you're with you know the group down there in Oregon or whether you're in the group with uh, in, in Howe County or whatever. You need to be uh, a member of these organizations because these guys are driving legislative change. Uh, they are actively working to make sure that we're restoring our property rights or protecting our property rights. And, um, you know, Doreen Hannes, uh, who is on with us on Fridays, Doreen has been in this fight for I don't even know how long, decade or more, uh, working to try to make sure she goes up to Jefferson City on her own time and her own dime and fights for property rights for owners and, and uh, you know, folks around our area. So make sure that you are a participating member. You know, people always say, I don't know what I can do. I'm only one person. Well, that's exactly what you can do. You can join with other like-minded individuals and fight back. And that's how you start. You find a group of other like-minded individuals. And these property rights organizations are actively working there in Jefferson City and, and working in, in, you know, with Washington to make sure that we're fighting for our rights as property owners. So be there or be square, as they say. Um, again, I, Catherine Albrecht will be here tomorrow with us. She has a website, solari.com, S-O-L-A-R-I.com. She is the author of the New York Times bestseller, Spy Chips. And um, if you're not aware of it, she 10 years ago she was out there doing presentations about how they're putting these RFID chips in stores and how uh, you know stores uh, are, are following you around with cameras to monitor you using facial recognition. And, I mean, folks... You're going to be scared tomorrow after you hear what Miss Albrecht has to say about what's going on in our nation with with this RFID stuff. It is absolutely terrifying, and if you're not aware of it, uh, I'm I'm here to tell you tomorrow should be you should have a tape recorder on and a pen and pad and paper in hand to take notes because it is a terrifying and I do mean terrifying example of one of just one area in which our government is surveilling us to the point where we have absolutely zero privacy left. And it's not just our government. These are individual companies who are operating extra-constitutionally on their own. And you're, you're subjected to it, and you don't even know it. So um, if there's ever an opportunity, and by the way, these databases are all being compen- uh, compiled, and then they're being appended together. Federal as pr- and private and, and state databases are all being appended to build dossiers on every American. I'm telling you, people, you've got to wake up and take some action. All right. Uh, uh, make sure that you give a call to Bill Stone if you're working and considering doing any kind of remodeling on your home, uh, new or used construction, if you're doing light commercial, farm work. Uh, I don't care whether you're building a pipe corral, a, a, you know, a, a, a welded steel pipe corral or a pole barn or a shop. Uh, if you're putting on a deck, adding on a concrete walk, uh, a new foundation, adding onto a room into your home, 
Bill Stone at Stone Construction at 2930116 has been doing this kind of work for 40 years. So make sure that you give him an opportunity to bid and and uh, and and earn your business or earn your business because he is a crackerjack construction guy, been doing this forever, really knows his game. And um, he is a supporter of you and this show, and we appreciate him. Bill Stone over at Stone Construction at 2930116. Also, the rape and assault prevention classes are being held, as you know. um, And that's going to be uh, during the month of February and into March. And if you haven't secured your spot yet up in Licking area, you you need to make sure that you're going into the country cupboard and signing up for that. This is the Rape and Assault Prevention Program put on by uh, Art Thomas from Family Fun and Fitness. And basically, what this is is a program for women, men, boys, and girls. It's not just related to rape. Don't make that mistake. This is street fighting basics. How do you fight back when somebody comes up, grabs you from behind, tries to assault you, tries to attack you, tries to rape you, enters your home, those types of things. And it, this is not... You know, this is not, um, uh, you know, how to cower and how to flee. This is how to turn around and do some immediate damage to cease the activity. And I strongly encourage everyone, and I do mean everyone, to have some basic opportunity to train just like this. I also encourage you to join and go up there together as a family because if you go up there as a family, what you learn there, you can practice together with each other so that, because, you know, just learning it once it doesn't do you any good. You have to practice this until it becomes memorized in your muscles. It's called muscle memory. And that way, when someone walks up and grabs you from behind, you immediately react and you take action. And that's the game plan. So get over there to uh, Country Cupboard and sign up there. You can also call 417-260-1006. That's 417-260-1006. And he was in our studio uh, on, on the 6th. And met with us, and and we had a great conversation and a good interview. I hope that you're going to take advantage of this training because it's a good opportunity for you, your family, and I strongly encourage you to go as a family. Now, there's only uh, a limited number of slots available at that country covered location in Licking. But if you're outside of that area or unable to attend then, I I want you to give a call over to uh, Art anyway because I want you to tell him where you are so that he can set up a class in your area and make sure that you're prepared to attend with a couple of people. 417-260-1006. Okay, um, our friends Mary over at uh, Chantilly's Artisan Bakery, who's got the best damn bakery you're ever going to find within a 100-mile radius, is uh, over at number 2 Evans Arcade. That's in that little alley down the square um, up in the, uh, the uh, northwest corner. And you can get a hold of Mary at 255-2253. That's 255 255- 2253. Mary has uh, locally sourced uh, uh, and organic ingredients that she uses in all of her products, fresh breads baked every day, uh, fresh pastries, and all kinds of, excuse me, all kinds of baked goods that you will not find anywhere else. And um, you really, you really need to, uh, to contact her. By the way, if you don't call her in the morning to find out what her specials are for the day, you're, you're not going to get any. Um, she, she gets calls uh, by 9, 10 o'clock in the morning, and it's already all sold out. And she only makes what she makes for the day, and then it's gone. So, you know, you got to put the bums rush on your telephone to get a hold of her and make sure that you're supporting, uh, you know, or you're getting a hold of her to find out what those effort, what the, uh, the specials are for the day. Chantilly's Artisan Bakery at 255-2253. Support our sponsors. They support you. And we appreciate each and every one of them. Um, all right. I want to talk about this issue with uh, Jason Smith uh, winning the nomination when we come back. And, um, uh, you know, the, the problem as I see it over there is that we now have uh, Joanne Emerson's pick because this is exactly what the Republican Party did to betray us into um, avoiding the the candidate of our own choice and so it's important that we are aware of exactly what's been going on here and how we are being betrayed by the republican party into putting into congress another person who will not support our interests i don't believe that jason smith is the right guy and i'll tell you why i don't he is the heir apparent joanne emerson has already had him out to washington 
with her arm around his shoulder, marching him around like the mother hen showing off, proudly showing off her new chick. And I'm going to tell you right now, we cannot afford representation in the 8th District in Missouri that is that kind of, uh, that, that kind of betrayal. This whole thing was a scam set up by the Republican Party, Joanne Emerson, and for all, I, I got to assume Jason Smith was well in on it and knew all about it. I'm very angry about it. I'm very, very unhappy about what's been done to us, and I think you and we need to take action. We need to find, there's a libertarian candidate I want to go out there and talk with you guys about, and I think we're going to find that he would be a far better uh, representative for us in Washington than would Jason Smith. And so I strongly will encourage you to take a look at his information. We'll put his information up on the website and on Facebook so that you can find him. We're also going to have him on the show. We'll be back in just a moment. The area's best selection of firearms and ammunition can only be found at West Plains Pawn and Jewelry. Top-of-the-line handguns from Kimber, Smith & Wesson, Ruger, Glock, Beretta, and many more. A wide selection of ammunition, including blanks, centerfire handgun and rifle, rimfire, a variety of shotgun shells, target, and turkey. With new arrivals every week, the area's best selection of firearms and ammunition can only be found at West Plains Pawn and Jewelry. 1713 West U.S. Highway 160, or shop online at westplainspawn.com. Last time on the Dennis Miller Show. The Bureau's inquiry into Democratic New Jersey Senator Bob Menendez over allegations that he hired underage prostitutes is now based in New Jersey, not Miami. Now, this is obviously a horrific story, if true, but I'm not even sure this gets you in the door in the corrupt Jersey politician hall of fame. Weekdays from 9 till noon is the Dennis Miller Zone on the Ozarks Best News Talk 1071. I witnessed a blindfolded Cupid hit a moving target 300 yards away while talking on a new U.S. Cellular smartphone. Impossible? Think again. U.S. Cellular has great new smartphones under $100 like the Motorola Electrify 2. Believe that. Say hello to smartphones for under $100. U.S. Cellular. Hello better. Certain restrictions apply. Applicable smartphone data plan required. New two-year agreement and $30 device activation fee may apply. See store for details. Having difficulty with your computer? Do you think it has a mind of its own? Well, don't be alarmed. This happens to everyone at some point in time. Worry no more. No more. Computer Dave and Kyle can help you out with PC Geeks, a weekly show right here on 107.1 The Point. Tune in Thursdays at 1 o'clock to ask computer-related questions and listen to the web topic of the week. That's PC Geeks here on 107.1 The Point. Suffering from allergy congestion? Allegra D decongests. Allegra D depressurizes so you can breathe. Allegra D, a fast, non-drowsy antihistamine, plus a powerful decongestant that gives you 24 hours of congestion-free breathing. It even reduces swelling that can cause congestion and pressure. Allegra D, defense against allergy congestion. Look for Allegra D at the pharmacy counter. Starts working in one hour, applies to first dose only. Use only as directed. Visit Allegra.com. All right, we are back. Libertarian Party has nominated Bill Slants for uh, the 8th District in Missouri. I want you guys to get a chance to get out there and see his website and learn more about him. It is BillSlants.com. That's S-L-A-N-T-Z. Bill, B-I-L-L, Slants, S-L-A-N-T-Z.com. Z like zebra, Okay. S L C Sierra L Lima Alpha November Tango Zulu. Make sure that you get over to his website, find out where he stands, and uh, see what his what his positions are on those things that are important to you. Because we cannot afford another rhino in Congress. We can't. Times are dire. We cannot afford another betrayal of the voters in Missouri. All right, I want to talk about uh, three different bills that have hit the hit the books the other day. 
uh, because these are very, very important to our future and to our Restore Missouri project. And I'm going to cover them quickly because we've only got a couple of minutes left. So make sure that you have your pens and paper out and that you are ready to take some quick notes and take down these bill numbers so that you can do your own homework, your own research, and be sure that you are aware and awake and that you're participating in uh, doing your part to restore our nation. Here we go. First off, House Bill number 46. House Bill 46. This is a bill that will um, uh, basically end unmanned aerial surveillance in the state of Missouri. It's an anti-drone bill, okay? And basically what it says is that uh, we cannot have unwarranted surveillance from these drones and that it's a violation unless there is an actual warrant from a judge, okay? And it means privately and and, uh, governmentally. And basically what it does is it bars any government or, or private agency from using drones without, um, without a warrant for, uh, at least from a court system. And further on, it goes, it goes on to state that in the event that there is evidence that's captured by a drone that's used in violation of this, that, in, that evidence cannot be used in any criminal or administrative proceeding. So I'm, I'm liking that. This is by uh, Rep Guernsey, who, by the way, we're going to definitely have to get on this show. Rep Guernsey is out there kicking butt and taking names, this dude. I mean, he is rocking the world over there in the House, in uh, the Missouri House. I really, really like him. He's the guy who put up the Firearms Freedom Act and some other stuff. And this guy is out there, and he is taking no prisoners. And that's exactly what we need. No prisoners, no compromise, no quarter asked. None given. All right? I do have one thing I'm going to talk to him about with an addition to this bill. And I talked about it extensively on Saturday. If you didn't catch Saturday's show, you need to get out to YouTube and find it because um, it's very important that you understand the implications of this additional amendment I want to add to this or an addendum. Basically, here's what it is. Not only do I want these drones barred from from, from unwarranted surveillance, but I want one other thing. I want all drones owned and or operated by private corporations and or government to be registered in a database that is publicly available and that they must file a flight plan and retain images and pictures for every operation they fly. And that information has to be retained indefinitely. And the reason behind that is if they do violate this law, then we need the proof, and the only way you're going to get the proof is by going through those videos and saying, aha, they used this thing in violation of the law, now I'm filing a civil lawsuit against them, and I'm going to bankrupt them. You want to stop the drone use, folks? Hit them where it hurts in the pocketbook. So, and it'll also do one other thing. It'll give us the proof, the the, uh, empirical proof that we need to be able to show how abusive these drones are in the United States of America, and specifically in Missouri. So I want to add that all drones have to be registered with a state database and that that database has to be put online where you can see a flight plan for every flight that is flown. I don't care if it's a test flight. I don't care if it's flying from from St. Louis to Kansas City. And I don't care if it's flying around one farm. I want a flight plan that is visible and I want notification that, that uh, all the images and videos and pictures or anything that's taken with this thing can be retained in a database indefinitely as proof that they are either not or have violated the law. The only exemption, which came in from a fairly wise caller, was that individual private citizens who want one of these drones, uh, as an example, a rancher who wants to be able to monitor his own cattle, um, that would be exempted from the registration and, and uh, flight plan and, and image retention uh, aspects of this. So this is House Bill number 46. You need to get on the phone with your representative in the House and your senator and make sure that they are a co-sponsor and this law gets passed. It'll block these drones and we got an Obama president who's out there killing Americans with drones. It won't be long before his tyrannical and traitorous Justice Department now uh, or shortly ap- approves of drone use to kill Americans domestically. You watch and see. 
Second one, House Bill number 77. This is an act which will give us right to work in the state of Missouri. And I'm going to tell you why this is so important. I talked to a guy who's on an economic development team, and they had 12 companies that they had uh, filled out questionnaires to come and create businesses here in Missouri. And the first question out of, out of the 12, seven of them asked was, do you have right to work? And when we told them no, all seven of them fell off the list and were no longer interested. Now, right to work is the ability to eliminate or at least for a worker to say, if you want to have a union here at this shop, that's fine, but I'm not obligated to join just to retain my job. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is called freedom. That is called liberty. That is called human sovereignty. You don't have to have a, a union card in order to, to get a job. We need right to work in this state so bad we can taste it. They just instituted it in Michigan, the heart of the union dragon. And why don't we have it in Missouri? Because we've got a bunch of weak-kneed legislators and a weak-kneed chicken poop uh, governor who swears he won't sign it. Well, guess what? We need to go out there and take that governor and overturn his veto and pass it anyway. We did it with concealed carry, and we can do it with right to work. Bill number 77. Do your homework, people. I'm expecting you to get on the line and get on the Internet or get online or find out where this bill stands and make sure that you and our representatives are are, uh, co-signing and co-sponsoring this. Third bill, and this is a critically important one. It's House Bill number 436. And I'm going to have to go through this quickly because we've got to wrap. This is called the Second Amendment Preservation Act. And ladies and gentlemen, if ever there was one thing we need here in Missouri, it is this. This goes even beyond the Firearms Freedom Act, and it states that any legislative initiative that has been passed down federally since day one inception is void and null, nullified and void. And that includes the 1968 Gun Control Act and the 1934 Gun Control Act and that no taxes, levies, fees, or stamps can be imposed on any firearm, accessory, or ammunition, and that there's no registration, no tracking, no bans allowed. This is the bill, people. This goes even beyond the firearm, the uh, Firearms Freedom Act, and I am 1,000% behind this bill, and you should be too. It's House Bill number 436. It's already been co-sponsored by a whole a bunch of different representatives. This was uh, put on by a guy by the name of Funder Burke. That's F. Funder, uh, like thunder, but with an F. Um, Funder Burke. And, uh, man, what a great dude this guy is. We're going to have to try to get him on the show, too. Um, if anybody knows Funder Burke or uh, Guernsey, I want you to send me an email to mike at americasvoicenow.org. That's Mike at americasvoicenow.org. And we want to make sure that we're getting these courageous heroes, and these are true heroes, on this show so that we can hear straight from the horse's mouth what these guys are up to. Because this is the kind of legislator we need. Citizen legislators who are going to go in, get swallowed by the dragon, and then start slashing at its belly from the inside out. We need House Bill 436. We need House Bill 77. And we need House Bill 46. These are critically important to our state and are not to be overlooked. Do not overlook and underestimate the power of what these bills can do, people. This is Restore Missouri in play. You're listening to America's Voice Now. My name is Michael Evans. I'm wrapping for the day. We'll be back tomorrow morning. We're going to have Catherine Albrecht on tomorrow morning. She is the New York Times bestselling author of Spy Chips talking about RFID and the unbelievable amount of surveillance that's being imposed upon Americans, both privately by corporations and by our government. And I'm telling you right now, make sure you're here tomorrow and that you are monitoring this uh, this show. It's going to be mind-blowing. All right? Make sure you've got a pad and a paper and a pen handy as well. All right. Um, <coughs> Spring Dipper tonight, the Mammoth County uh, uh, group that is going to be a uh, property rights group at 6 p.m., at Spring Dipper, call 417-264-2435 if you have any questions. We'll see you tomorrow. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash America's Voice Now. Let's get to the point. Well, let me get to the point. FM News Talk 40 Ozarks is FM 107.1. The Point. KBMV. Fox News.